hello friend hope all is well with you today thank you for joining me in another episode in supermarket simulator yes it is the evening we have uh here let me give you the tour i did some um changes to the store and started placing more items in one single row some of the items that have made the cut and that are placed in single row are these that you see Again, no particular order. There is no way for me to see what sells the most to justify picking, um, justify making the selections that I made. And so some of these uh, have their own row and others uh, share a row, like the chips. Um, and that's just because I don't have a lot of room in the store. Not because I ran out of money, but because I don't have a lot of room. Um, I think you had already seen the registers over there. I'm probably going to have to move this over and put two more shelves uh two sets of shelves on that side and that side just looking at the license that we're gonna purchase in this episode will be all right uh we're gonna put those items here we're gonna do the cleaning items i know they take up a lot of room back here but i freed up some racks as well uh let me show you well uh, no those are good what there is a rack that i freed up i freed up this rack right here which is awesome. And then I still have two emergency racks, which is great. So we're doing good. We're doing well, I should say. Let's go ahead um, and hit enter. Before I hit enter, though, and before I forget, I did do three days offline. Here are my receipts for those three days. Very good. If you want to see them in more detail, go ahead and hit that young pause button but let's hit enter for this last day that i worked uh without you and we had 173 customers for 17,375. we managed our store well there was not a product that wasn't found nothing was too expensive that's actually a pretty good day to be honest with you so let's go ahead and start the new day we have the tea the hummus and the beer tea hummus beer tea hummus beer i know right hummus beer which beer is it? i'm gonna type it in because there are several beers and i honestly don't want to try to guess which one it is so let me just type it in here uh okay so it's this one the box box one boxy looking one and i already forgot what my last item was darn it um all right so the oh my gosh this drop eight uh 30 8 30 right yeah beer oh my gosh and tea black tea black is right over i wanted to put it over there with the coffees and for some reason i didn't so now i gotta find it i know i'm i just made this change like a day and a half ago i want to say um and i'm still not used to any of this stuff oh good this one up in price we'll put this at 680 580 all right cool very cool. I know I have to order because, as you can see, our warehouse is super empty. But let's go ahead and take care of this um, of this new order first. So I have the two shelves that we're going to be needing. And we're going to go into management and we're going to purchase the product uh, cleaning. The reason why I'm doing this one right now is because if we do this one, this is going to require me. This is going to require for me to add another fridge. I think the bottled water it's going to go into a refrigerator and then this one also is going to require a fridge so i want to get this one out of the way and then kind of organize myself so that i can add another fridge uh for for these two and then the last one i'm not even going to look at the last one yet but let's go ahead and purchase the um, the cleaning license for thirty-four thousand. very good that leaves us with 13 which means we should have enough money to buy all of those again these are going to be oh cool toothpaste kind of cool Let's go ahead and buy all, the, all we're going to do. I'll do four of each. Again, toilet paper, two sets of toilet paper. Oh, my. I'm going to buy three of these. I think I hit five of those. I should get five of these as well and five of these. Let's see if that matches up. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, You know what? Let me do one more fabric softener. All right, uh, this is going to cost me $1,300. Not bad. All right, yep, there's no space. That was 
that was the idea, right? We weren't going to have space for those. Let me go ahead and... Now, so this is what I have planned. I don't know if I should just do it now. It's to kind of put it here. But then this is going to look empty. I can move it back. I can move it back later. It's no big deal. I'll just put it here since this is what I prepared for. I'll just leave it here for now. Because uh, I can always just move them to another place. I like that those island areas to be like bulky cleaning products, right? So like this is bulky, this is bulky. And if I move these over, I'll just show you a little bit. If I move this over to the side, we'll just line it up to this line right here. Why not? I should be able to put two more of these right next to it. Right? I should be able to add another one. One, two, one, two, and then make the bulky ones, which is essentially what I'm doing over here. Uh, but I don't want to leave that blank. I don't want to leave that empty. So I can I can always just move it like this. It's no big deal. It's super easy to move them this way to make room for the, for the second uh, license that we're going to um, purchase in the next episode, not in this one. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and kind of put these up, and then I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so this is what the new rack for the new items looks like. We have two of the detergents at the bottom, and then we have the two different sets of toilet paper, one on each side uh, for three total slots. And then the new, the other item, the other new item was the toothpaste, which I kind of placed here. I was going to do a whole roll. I could still do it. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it because... I can fit quite a bit of these inside. There's 24, so there's 48 total there. Compared to, like, the pasta, there's 16 and 16. It's 32, so just... And pasta alone, four slots, takes 32 items, and these two only take 48. So I think well, this is one of the items that I'd be smart to only put up um, twice. And let's go ahead and price this stuff before I forget, because I will forget. Let's see. This We're going to call it 1890. And that'll be seven ninety above price, which is gonna it's gonna cause some people to complain. Oh, this is really cheap. What the heck? This is super cheap. We'll call this nine seventy for eighteen percent, eighteen cents over. And then finally the toothpaste seventy five seven seventy five. We'll call it seven ninety, and that's four eighty. So these items are not gonna like really really move the needle for us, but they're new items and. A, the end of the game at the end of the day that's what it's all about right so i don't want to open the store because i gotta make a huge order i'm gonna do that really really quick i need to keep it under twelve thousand, obviously and then i gotta start figuring out how i'm gonna add more space to my store because i have two more licenses to bring in in front of you guys and all i have is this and this i don't know where i would put another refrigerator i don't i don't <laughs> Which is pretty sad. Uh, all I have is these two shelves right here that are opened up for us at the moment. So anyways, we'll figure that out. Uh, let me go ahead and order this stuff up. I'm, I need to tender it, fill it in, and then have these guys start uh, racking up the... Um, not racking up, restocking the shelves. So I'll bring you back very shortly. All right, all right. As good as it gets. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and open up shop. How many? I don't think I have the... The amount of stalkers that I need. Let's go ahead and open up the store. I have... No, I do. I do. Okay, so this is actually a good time. So I have five total. I need to have more than five, I think. I don't think five is enough. Uh, We'll see. Well, they go inside of them, so... Let's go ahead and open up the store. It's opened. Right? We're good. The dudes are waiting store's pretty well stocked uh, I think I paid bills let's go check that management bills I did not okay cool so we're down to 3685 and we have oh this looks so nice just one row of licenses left again we have the um, this one with the cakes and the waters and then this one with the cakes and the yogurt why aren't they together they should have condensed these to put all the cakes in one and then everything else on the other one because you have a refrigerator refrigerator where you could have just put both of those in the same one that's just me complaining though i know you've heard that enough in this series so again the challenge is going to be space management now i do have extra room in each one just because i don't want the rows to be super tight and that just makes it easier for me to kind of move around i don't move around often in my 
playthrough. I don't. Um, but you never know. I can technically move this even more to the right. Kind of like this. And since these are all the same, I, ha I can just come out here to, to refill this. And that might give me a little bit more room. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I definitely, I definitely buy, by next, by the next episode, I should be able to buy these two and these two and put in any new items. Now they're not going to be in order. I actually kind of, I, I, I put in a lot of offline hours, not hours, but time to kind of put this kind of the same. So we have flour, 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 right? Uh, cakes, cakes, oil, oil, and then it turns into beer. I don't know. It just turns into beer. And then all the coffees are in the same place. We got we have the the pet care in one area. All the books remain in the same place all together. Uh, we have the chips in one row, and I know we're getting more chips, so I, those will have to move. Then we have the mayo, the mustard, and the hot sauce all in the same place. More alcohol. You could argue that I can move this over there and then bring the alcohol over here. You can argue that, and you would be very right to do so. I have all my rice boxes here. A little bit of cleaning and a half, right? You'd, you'd like for there to be a little gap between the food and cleaning, but there isn't. And yeah, I know toothpaste is not a cleaning product, but I'll show you where the toothpaste should go. Uh, wait, but before I do that, and then this is where the new stuff came in. Again, more cleaning products. You probably, you can say that the toothpaste can go... Because this is, this is hand soap. There's like hand sanitizer, right? We have that. Is that a thing? Where's my hand sanitizer? Where the heck did it go? Did I? Like, oh, it's over here. So you can argue that the toothpaste can go probably here. This is like the only place that you could put it where it would be, where it would go somewhere similar to what's already here. So hand soap and then maybe um, toothpaste. But I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Another thing that I just noticed while I was talking to you guys earlier is that I should have determined the um, items that went on a single row based on the quantity that they hold right so these all are pretty justified because they only hold what 10 each but if there's one like this one holds 12 this one's 18 this one maybe not maybe this one too is enough because that's 36 that's a lot these are very justified i think it's only eight per so that from the beginning i should have kept that, those at at a full row these are 12, 12, 12, 8, 12, 12, 12. So these are, these are good. So I'm just doing this because hopefully this helps you. If you're, if you're, if you're still not at this point in the game, this, this should kind of help you decide what you should put in a full, in a full row or just have two slots for it. Um, this one's kind of iffy. I think I did a good choice with this one because it's 32, which is a good number. You know what? By accident, I think I did okay. I wasn't really looking at that. See, these also are high. I think it's 20 and 20, which is 40, and just two slots. So I honestly think I did a pretty good job. Maybe this one, 32. Just have it in two. This one for sure, right? Because it's so small. I mean, it's so it's it the, the quantities are so low. So yeah, I think I did a I think I did a pretty good job of. <laughs> Of isolating the items that take up um, a lot of space. And so, yeah, that's one way to do it. So, maybe put this beer, this box beer with this box beer. But we are going to get more beer. So, right? I think there's more alcohol coming. Let me walk through the masses here. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one has beer. I just don't know which kind it is. But again, we'll knock that out. That's a future me problem. I'm not going to start worrying about that right now. I am just way over my head on stuff that i can and can't do i'm a little afraid that the new items are gonna run out only because i didn't order a lot of it and usually this toilet paper stuff goes super super fast so hopefully not i mean that's good right there right and then the new detergent is pretty well stocked as well all right we're good we're good we'll see how it goes look at the store it's jam-packed if you're noticing the lag, I think my settings are high, so that's probably why. 
All right, moment of truth. Let's see how we did today. We're up to 22,000. So again, another 173 customers. That's the same amount we had before we purchased the new license. So I don't think I don't think that that update they said was going to be made for the game where you as you as you level up or as you buy more products, you get more customers. I think it's based on leveling up more than adding more more uh, more items or newer new items. Uh, we got two products not found for the grand total of 18702. Now that did increase. That's that's by far my highest. Uh, we had a supply cost of almost uh, 9,000. The upgrade cost was 35,000. Uh, they round that up. It was 34,600, I think. That's cool. I like that they round it up. And then rent, um, you know how that goes. So let's go ahead and start the new day. We have soda, book, and book. I'm going to do the cola soda, and then I'll just go take a look at the book and book because I never know what those are. So this is going to go down to, we'll just call it an even three. I like that. And then this way. So what I mean by, let me just go over here to check, see what the book and book is. I'm going to submit this order. 199 products, 9,500. That is a chunk of our money that's going to go away, but we need it. And a lot of it is going to be outside. I'm going to show you in a second, but first I'm going to go in here and just do book. And then this will give me an idea of what books change in price. That way I'm not guessing. So this is the ABC book. And then once upon a time, run over here and I go into my, well, here's once upon a time. So let's do this. And this one drop to, we'll just call it an even nine. No, that's too much, right? Yeah. More like 890. Yeah, that's more like it. All right, cool. And then the ABC book is right here. 660 and it went up to i don't like this one i guess we'll call it 720 when you go 20 cents over they do tend to say um the customers do tend to say that it's too expensive let me see if i can show you really quick uh let's go over here to st statistics mod go here um wait something's cheap is this cheap oh i didn't price this stop stop <laughs> this i didn't price oh i didn't price the <laughs> oh my gosh they basically got it for free wow i could have made so much more money uh 20 19 20 yeah oh my god well no not really 730 no no yeah because i get it back right yeah i get it back oh my gosh are you freaking how many sold 12 my gosh yeah store price zero you guys should if you need a toilet paper you should have visited my store yesterday uh, okay, products not found, none, expensive, yeah, see this, this one's up 16 cents, they found it too expensive, this one's up 14 cents, and they found it too expensive, it just depends on the person, it's only one, uh, one person for each item, so it's not too bad, not too bad at all, alright, so we have 12, 8, 7, 5, let me show you the hot mess that's out here, this is the entire mess that I gotta clean up, not got to, I will, um because obviously we need it right we need to clean it up i need to put it away so my guys can stock it and obviously i'm not going to do that online i'll bring you guys back uh when we're ready to open up the store so hang tight brb all right all right let's start it up we are we're good to go it's about to get started in here uh stores well stocked up for the most part let me just do a little walk through you guys can see these guys do a really good job of restocking ever since we got in that mod for the extra workers i haven't had problems with items not found maybe one or two here and there but nothing like the last two episodes how i i had those screenshots and one of them was like 25 items it was pretty sad um it made me sad so i was like I'm, i need to get that mod installed asap I know, I know the mod, the mod conversation is not a comfortable one to have, right? I get it. It's, it's one of those things where like, if you're, I, I think if you're playing offline on your own and you want to do this like vanilla, I, like a power to you, I, I would do the same. If I were to start, a, if I were to start to play this game all over again, like, and, and I would do it offline, I would try to do as much of it as I could just straight vanilla, no, no flavor, no toppings. Um, but once you, once like me that I'm doing this in front of you guys, I don't want to bore you with things that, that are, re that get repetitive. I don't, that's not, that's not my idea of a good time for you or for me. And so you guys will see if I'm not having a good time, you guys will feel it. And then the, the, the episodes are going to suck like big time. That's just, that's just how I feel about that. So I if you're new to, to the mod conversation, 
95% of the mods that I've downloaded are quality of life, which means it just like it's more more workers. Uh, the register employees are a little bit faster uh, than vanilla. Uh, what else? Um, I can do this little trick where I get a box from from the little sticker. This box is empty, so I can use it to organize. Again, that's not something that's going to make me more money, uh, but it's something that obviously is going to help me get through the tedious stuff a lot faster. Uh, what else? Oh, the auto, the, the auto delivery. I downloaded that one as well. And that one, all it does, it puts about 80% of the boxes that I order. It puts them in their place. You notice the other 20% just kind of goes on the street. Uh, so I don't even have that perfected. And I think that's it. Honestly, that's it. There are other mods that are enticing. Like there's one where I can add a fifth, a, uh, a fifth uh, shelf. From these four, you can add a fifth one. Uh, there are those mod that really cool mod where you can actually make a freezer. I mean, a refrigerator be a stand-up freezer. So instead of only having room for two like this, all this room is taken up by these. I could essentially condense these right here to maybe one and a half fridge. Which, if you think about it, that's that's a big deal. I haven't downloaded that one, and that's a quality of life mod, right? That's something that the vanilla game won't give you. Sorry for the lag, guys. There are a lot of people here. So the vanilla game won't give you that. The other one that that's that's viable, I think, is buying the warehouse mod. Uh, it's ten thousand um, in-game dollars, but it'll give you more room to organize the inventory. Which I may have to do that because we still have three licenses to buy, and I only have one and two racks open. And then I won't have any more emergency racks, so my 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 work day is going to be a little bit more involved. But anyways, uh, let me bring you guys back when it's time to close up to see how we do. Sweet cheeks. Let's uh let's go ahead and help the crew out because it's getting a little busy and I need I need to kind of get in here and help out a little bit. I don't have a lot of room to do it as I did before, but it should help. It's almost nine o'clock and people are complaining. You see that checkouts are full, so why not help? I got to remember the two names we've assigned, um, Stacy and Lisa. I don't know if I'll see them. I might or might not, but I know who they are, so that's cool. It's going to be Stacy with the little green, um, not little, the green uh, coat, long coat. And then Stacy's going to have the, she looks like that, but has a, a, a lavender or pink or fuchsia color of I think I called it Musha last time, which is kind of embarrassing. One of those tricky colors, you know what I mean? You can't really tell. There we go. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Credit card, of course. 6430. Let's do this. Off you go. Have a good night. Hello, ma'am. What is your dog's name? I'd love to know your dog's name. People can get so creative with dog names. If you have a dog, a pet, or know of a pet that has a really cool name, please post it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I love how creative people get with their pets. Especially if there's like an inside joke to it, or if that's how they, you know, the pet survived. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, shoot. I give you five cents extra. That one's on the house, ma'am. Go buy yourself some delicious coffee with those five cents right thirteen dollar change there you go sir off you go no stacy and lisa i'm kidding kind of sad 8680 nice there's the blueberry lady i think i'm gonna call her blue blueberry lady that's easy to remember and it makes sense off you go thank you ma'am some taters, some hot sauce, some chips, more taters, and the same book to read. Don't understand why. Maybe she's got triplets, and they'll get mad if she buys one a book and not the others. Why not buy them different ones, though, right? That way, when once one is done, or once all three of them are done, they can kind of rotate it. Why buy the same? I don't know. I don't know. I just ask the questions. I don't know the answers, folks. 151, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, we didn't see Stacy or Lisa today. That's kind of a bummer. I'm supposed to see them so that I don't forget their names. And I'm not seeing them. But we did name one more person. I'm happy about that. We're making progress. I can't say that I'm going to be able to name everyone. Because some people... One one item. What? What is this? Episode 1. Some people um, 
are the same, but they wear, they wear different colors, um, like dresses or shirts or ties. I think this lady wears like a different color dress. I'm not sure. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. 80, 80, 30. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to give $50 for free. You know what I'm saying? This dude's unique. He's always wearing that, I think. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I think he's always wearing that. This guy wears a different color vest, or sometimes they wear a bow tie, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken. $40.70. Off you go. Thank you. Have a good night. Hello, sir. I was not talking about you. I promise. It was the guy before after you he yeah he i was talking about him thank you and have a good day all right guys we rung up let's go like to get those ring ups in the episode always a good time with y'all all right dirty diapers we are back customers are completely gone from the store the boys are working hard as usual let's go ahead and see how we did today again 173 customers uh, three items were found too expensive, 17578 in income, 11000 in supply costs for a net profit of, uh, total profit of almost 6000 That's not bad. Let's go ahead and start the new day. We have tea, candy, shampoo, and the Sapori. I'm definitely going to have to search these. I'm, I already forgot what they were. Uh, this is 20. I think I can find the Sapori, right? It's, it's one of the beers. It's not a beer. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> you can see why I made that mistake, right? It's, uh, it's one of the meats. Uh, so the whatever, Proskidio, Proskidio. Uh, it's going to take me forever to find it either way. Hang tight. All right, found it. And it went down to 720. Okay, I think I've done two and there's two more to go. All right, the last two are the green tea and the candy, which is right here. And this went up to... We'll call it 420 for the you aficionados there it is and then the green tea green tea should be i think we talked about this already in this episode it's over here awesome uh oh 777 i'd love to keep it at that number right but we can't we need to make money plus we don't do odd numbers we close it out we round it out all right Guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. I think we did good. I hope you're satisfied with the way this episode went. If you're not, please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see different. Uh, in the next episode, we will be purchasing another license. Which one? I don't know. I don't think it matters. They're they're so similar. Uh, these two are, are... They both have cake. They both have chocolate. They both have bottled water and yogurt. So either way, I'm going to need to purchase a refrigerator and find a way to put these in... The, these racks that i have i only have room for one rack for one item here so i'll have to do a lot of condensing i'll try to do all this without a mod um but it is what it is we'll try to do our best that's what we do here so thank you again for joining me hope you like this episode enough to either like and or subscribe to the channel if you do so i thank you for that support please make good choices and i'll see you on the other side